Hispanics are family Truth be told Truth be told I just pray you see Christ when you see me Truth be told Truth be told Shalom, most high in Christ bless You are now tuning into Truth Be Told DC Broadcasting live via listenvisionlive.com Be sure to tune in every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to hear the truth according to the Bible, hosted by IUIC DC. For music, clothing, and instruments of learning, visit OriginalRoyalty.com and IsraelUnite.org. Shalom. Shalom, fam. Welcome back to Truth Be Told DC. I'm also Matthew to my right. Soldier Micah. To my left. Soldier Daniel. Officer Mendel. So today's topic is called Dinosaurs and Cavemen mm. in the Bible. Mm-hmm. So before we get there, let's get John 8 and 32. The book of John, chapter 8, verse 32. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So the truth is that you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans make up the 12 tribes of Israel. So let's jump right into it. Let's open up with Job uh, 40 and 15. The book of Job, chapter 40, verse 15. And before you get this, make sure you get your pens, your Bibles, and your notebooks. So go ahead and read that. Job, chapter 40, verse 15. Behold now, behemoth, which I made with thee, he eateth the grass as an ox. Mm -hmm. Lo now, his strength is in his loins, Mm. and his force is in the navel of his belly. So his strength. Strength is in his loins, meaning his legs, and the force is in his stomach. Go to Second um, Ezra chapter six, verse forty nine. So we're dealing with Leviathan right now. Behemoth. I mean behemoth. Behemoths. Get that. The book of Second Ezra chapter six, verse forty nine. Thou didst ordain two living creatures, mm-hmm. the one thou callest Enoch, mm-hmm. and the other Leviathan. So that's going on in the behemoth. So it's not, he didn't literally make two. These are a multitude of big creatures. Keep going on that. Keep going on that. That's second Ezra. Keep going on that. That's six and 49. Read through 52. Second Ezra chapter six, verse 49. Thou didst ordain two living creatures. Uh huh. The one thou callest Enoch and the other Leviathan. And didst separate the one from the other. Mm hmm. How? For the seventh part. Namely, where the water was gathered together uh-huh. might not hold them both. So they can't both be in the same place at the same time. So he had to separate one with water and the other with land. Keep going. Unto Enoch thou gavest one part, uh-huh. which was dried up the third day. So Enoch or Behemoth was on the land. That he should dwell in the same part wherein are a thousand hills. Mm. But unto Leviathan thou gavest the seventh part. Namely the moist And has kept him to be devoured Of whom thou wilt and when mm-hmm. So am he down there Eating up anything and everything that fall into the ocean Let's go back to that Job 40 Let's continue on uh, verse 17 Job chapter 40 verse 17 He moveth his tail Like a cedar So his tail is like a cedar tree If you've seen a cedar tree A cedar tree is very large and it gets uh, it gets smaller towards you get toward the right. top. It's, it's very big and round. So this not talking about no uh, hippopotamus or no elephant. Right. I'm about to say it. Jehovah's yeah. Witness told me it was a hippopotamus. Right. Yeah. He, he got a little teeny old tail on him. Keep going. The the sinews of his stones are wrapped together. Mm-hmm. His bones are as strong pieces of brass. So it's saying his his sinews or his his nuts is like brass. <laughs> His bones are like bars of iron. And his bones are like bars of iron, meaning very strong bones, because you're not going to have no big creature with no weak bones. Right. He is the chief of the ways of God. Mm. He that made him can make his sword to approach unto him. So he's the chief beast of all. That's what the scriptures are saying. Read that again. Job 40, Job 40 verse 19. He is the chief of the ways of God. Mm-hmm. 
he that made him can make his sword to approach unto him. Uh huh. Surely the mountains bring him forth food. So he eating off the mountain. So this ain't no little animal. Right. Where all the beasts of the field play. Mm hmm. He lieth under the shady trees in the cover of the reed and fence. Mm hmm. Keep going. The shady trees cover him with their shadow. The willows of the brook can pass him about. Right. Read this next verse, though. Behold, he drinketh up a river. He doeth what? He drinketh up a river. So this animal is so massive, he could drink up a river. This not talking about no regular, ordinary animal you see right. on your Discovery Channel. He ain't talking about no squirrel. Nah, <laughs> uh, clearly not. You got the video to get you missing. Right. So let's go ahead and finish it out on that. And hasteth not. Mm-hmm. He trusteth that he can draw up Jordan into his mouth. So he could drink the whole Jordan River in his mouth. He taketh it with his eyes, his nose pierceth through snares. So he take the thing with his eyes. He look on, he said, man, I could drink that whole river. We're going to roll a video real quick. This T-Rex video. Anybody hear that? It's a, um, it's an impact tremor is what it is. I'm fairly alarmed here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We gotta get out of here. We gotta get out of here. Now, now, right now. Go, 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 let's go. Hey. Start the engine. Must go faster. Get off the stick! Let him move! Look out! Have that on the tour. All right, so that's one example of one behemoth. We're going to read the scripture again. Get that Job 40 and 20 again. The book of Job, chapter 40, verse 20. Mm -hmm. Surely the mountains bring him forth food mm -hmm. where all the beasts of the field play. So this animal is extremely tall. So we're going to roll another video real quick. It's called Welcome, just to give you another example of a behemoth. Because that one was a carnivore. This one right here is a what herbivore. herbivore. Yeah. Right. species of veriformin's been extinct since the Cretaceous period. I mean, this thing is a hunt this thing. Why? Dinosaur. Uh -huh. <laughs> you did it. You crazy son of a bitch, you did. Look at this tear up the rule book on it. Cold bloodedness, it doesn't apply. They're totally wrong. This is a warm bodied creature. <laughs> this thing doesn't live in a swamp. This thing's got what a 25, 27 foot neck. Brachiosaur 30. <laughs> Well, 
Well, we clocked the T-Rex to 30. So, because a lot of time people get confounded when you run into your atheist talking about their dinosaurs in the Bible. The word dinosaur didn't come around until the 1800s. Right. Mm -hmm. So, you're not even going to find that in the Bible. So, that's why it's key to be able to go in here and pick out certain things out of the scriptures. So, that's another example, again, of a, uh, of a behemoth. Let's go ahead and touch on this. Get this Leviathan for him. The book of Job, chapter 41, verse 1. Canst thou draw out Leviathan with an hook? Or his tongue with a cord which thou let us down. So it's saying this one's so big, can you draw him out? You out there on a the charter boat, you think you're gonna catch Leviathan. <laughs> that right. ain't happening. Keep going. Not at all. Canst thou put an hook into his nose mm -hmm. or bore his jaw through with a thorn? So you can't even put a hook into his nose or bore his jaw through with anything. You gotta check the uh, script. Mm-hmm. Oh, get Isaiah twenty seven and one. The book of Isaiah, chapter twenty seven, verse one. In, the, in that day, the Lord with his sword and great and strong sword mm -hmm. shall punish Leviathan. Shall do what? Shall punish Leviathan. So that's already letting you know. That's the Lord that's going to do that thing. And that hasn't happened yet. Right. Okay. The piercing serpent, mm -hmm. even Leviathan, that crooked serpent. Mm. And he shall slay the dragon mm. that is in the sea. He mm. shall do what? Slay the dragon that is in the sea. So that's going into your Loch Ness Monster too. Right. Or what you yeah. call that? Whatever they whatever call it. Whatever they get. Whatever they call it. Because they, it's there's multitudes of things down there they haven't seen. Get that Psalms 104. <clears throat> and this this scripture right here gonna tell you that. Good job. The Book of Psalms, chapter 104, verse 25. Mm -hmm. So is this great and wide sea, wherein are things creeping? Innumerable. What? So this so is this great and wide sea wherein are things creeping innumerable. So it's things down there that they haven't even discovered yet. They mm -hmm. I just seen the article today. They pulled out some crazy fish out oh, there yeah. in China. I don't know yeah. what that thing was. I saw another one, I think it was in Virginia Beach where it had some jaws or something right. that was on the surf. Yeah, yeah, this thing way down they pulled this thing from way down deep. Keep going. Both small and great beasts. Both what? Both small and great beasts. Uh huh. There go the ships. There is that Leviathan mm -hmm. whom thou hast made to play therein. So he playing in that thing. You ain't going out there with no ship seeing him. This ain't no Moby Dick. Mm -hmm. These wait <laughs> all upon thee uh -huh. that thou mayest give them their meat in due season. Mm. That's that. Uh, so he, that's that uh, Bermuda Triangle. Yeah, I mean, that right. Bermuda Triangle. Yeah. Right. You going out there? You going out there? You just fish food. That's that's telling you. <laughs> Pretty much. So let's get that in Psalm 74. Good job on your Bible, too. Mm -hmm. All so praises 13. for this understanding coming up. Right, because a lot of people get confounded when somebody bring up the dinosaurs in the scriptures because it don't say dinosaur. That don't mean it's not actually talking about these large beasts, both uh, on land and in the sea. The book of Psalms, chapter 74, verse 13. Thou didst divide the sea by thy strength. Mm-hmm. Thou breakest the heads of the dragons in the water. Mm. Thou breakest the heads of Leviathan in pieces mm. and gavest him to be meat to the mm. people inhabiting the wilderness. So that's only the Lord going to be able to go down there and do that. So you ain't going down there catching this one. That, that's the Lord's job. Say the said thou breakest the head of the Leviathan right, in, in the pieces. pieces. Right. Mm. So he's he's the fisherman for real. Right. To give us him some meat, meat to, to the, the people. people. Mm. So, so that means he's edible. He's clean then. Yeah. Right. So we yeah. can be eating on the vibe. So he got scales and fins. <laughs> right. Yeah. In the wilderness, a lot of Christians wouldn't even know what that wilderness is talking about right there. Absolutely not. You definitely don't. So what? Uh, so let's go um we'll go back, back to, Job. to Yeah, let's yeah, go Job back to Job real quick. Okay. Go the, back to Job 41, start at verse 2. The book of Job chapter 41 verse 2. Canst thou put a hook into his nose or bore his jaw through with a thorn? Mm. Will he make many supplications unto thee? Will he speak soft words unto thee? Mm. So this this right here, Job is asking a question that he already know the answer to. No, he ain't gonna be <laughs> right, able to right. That's do a rhetorical that. question. That's right. a rhetorical question. There's no way you're gonna be able to contain this beast that's out in this sea. This is a big uh, sea animal. Right, you're gonna be fish food. What the scripture just said. Keep going. Will he make a covenant with thee? Wilt thou take him for a servant forever? <laughs> Will y'all make him a servant? <clears throat> right. He in your tank. Yeah, you're going to put him in your fish tank. <laughs> got a like shark a little, tank uh, at home. Right. Like you got the goldfish. Yeah, right. 
Will thou play with him as with a bird? Hmm. Or wilt thou bind him for thy maidens? Shall the companions make a banquet of him? Shall they part him among the merchants? That's talking about how they got the fish market. Yeah, right. the fish market. So that's telling you right there that he's telling you right there. Y'all not going to be able to catch this thing and then part him among the fish market. You're not going to be selling Le- uh, Leviathan <laughs> for, at the fish market. Right. That's not going to happen. You're not going to be able to hook him and bring him in with no fish story. Talking about he done caught Leviathan. Sell, selling uh, Leviathan fillets. Yeah. Right. right. That ain't happening. Canst thou fill his skin with barbed irons? Or his head with fish spears. Man, and you could go out there and hit him with barbed irons or fish spears. You, you're not going to bring this beast in. This right. is a big fish. Lay thine hand upon him. Remember the battle. Do no more. Mm-mm. That means you're going to be out of here. Right. You exactly. You go around with that thing. You're going to be a bad memory. So this, ain't talk, this ain't talking about no catfish. Then. No. no. So it's saying, you're going to go out there to do the battle. And, go rem- and your buddy's going to say, nah, don't do that again. <laughs> Verse 9, behold, the hope of him is in vain. Mm. Shall not one be cast down even in the sight of him? None is so fierce that dare stir him up. Hey, mm. He's saying nobody got the heart to go down there and mess with this beast. It said he be cast down even at the sight of him. And you dying on sight. So right. as you see it, you just die. <laughs> Golly. That's right there. Yeah, that's a lot of fear. That right ain't no there, regular man. fish you looking at. Nah, I don't think you're gonna see him on the sportsman said, channel. Nobody nah. got the heart talking about. I'm gonna go out there and catch that Leviathan, man. Right. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> God, he be gonna eat your whole boat and everything. Who then is able to stand before me? <clears throat> Who hath prevented me that I should repay him? Mm. Whatsoever is under the whole heaven is mine. Damn. All right. That's now, his mindset. Yeah, he 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 ruling that sea world, and that there. includes you. Exactly. And on the land, he's going to make a, what, a snack out of it. Or oh, dirt. <laughs> Let's get this video. Uh, Montosaurus. That's just an example of what it, uh, you know, we think it could have looked like. None of us have seen it, but just imagine trying to bring that on a boat. Mm. Yeah, what what kind of boat you gonna have? <laughs> I mean, Titanic. even today it would take something to be able to bring something in like that. Man, they right? gotta hit him with one of them nukes they got on the side. They side gotta hit him with something. That John ain't gonna do nothing. That's why Christ <laughs> gotta come back and kill him. Just that simple. There you go. That's it. Take that nuke <laughs> like a tic tac, man. <laughs> Job chapter forty one verse twelve. I will not conceal his parts, nor his power, nor his comely proportion. Who can discover the faith of his garment, mm. the face of his garment, or who can come to him with his double brittle? Mm. Who can open the doors of his face? His teeth are terrible round about. Mm. Mm. So we just saw that, that video looking at them teeth. Can you imagine mm. right. you going out there with your fishing rod, man, or you Dude. on your boat? And the next thing you know, you're he, just surrounded by teeth. Man, he'll look. eat you, wouldn't even notice it. Right. right. Mm. <laughs> he breathing. <laughs> You'll be lucky to be in between his teeth. <laughs> yeah. Man. Uh, verse 15. His scales are his pride. So mm. one of, he does have scales because uh, in Isaiah, mm. they say we're going to be eating. We're going to be meat. eating on right. him. Right. Shut up together as with a closed seal. So they're real tight, bound real tight. So that's, he got like armor for skin. That's mm. what that's telling you right there. One is so near to another that no air can come between them. Damn. Yeah, so he's telling you right there. His scales are real tight. Mm, but now, that's, clean fish. So you go in there with your <laughs> spear or whatever it is trying to uh, damage this, this uh, beast. You're not going to do this. It's just going to bounce off of him. And that's right. even telling. If somehow you did get him up on land, you're not going to be uh, scaling him either right. with your silly scale all. knife. It's about to get heavy, though. They are joined one to another. <clears throat> They stick together that they cannot be sundered. Mm. By they, his nessings, a light the, by his, by his sneezing, sneezing. Sneezing. Mm. By his kneesings. By, says, but this is going into something else. Before we get to this next uh, verse, I want to run that uh, video real quick. Um, go ahead and run that music video, Mike. Mine says sneezing. Uh, the one, uh, Kings in the Building. Now this thing goes out to all the haters in this united Christ. But well, we just want to let you know how good we see. Things up in this building. 
ASAP. Instruct the people. Now this one goes out to all the haters of Israel united in Christ. Because we know you put a lot into hating us all year. So we just want to let you know out there we see you. Let's get up in this building. Look at what we build and we do this for our brothers and our wives and our children. If you ain't rolling with us, better get up out the way. Cause the God that we walking with is not the one to play. Let's get up in this building. Look at what we build and we do this for our brothers and our wives and our children. If you ain't rolling with us, better get up out the way. Cause the God that we walking with is how many times must we check these fools, correct these fools, dissect these fools? They still run in their mouth. That's why the body we don't respect these fools, just let these fools know that we don't play, understand, we can do this every day, but you think you intelligent, you not even relevant, understand, you are in the room with an elephant, I'm stuck on all your heresies and what the people say, why you didn't listen when we said move out the way, you keep guessing us, stressing us, why you second guessing us, even though you cursing us, God is steady blessing us, we hate to hear when you talk, cause you a damn liar, so when you say we fell off, we Come with more fire I am not the one to play with these scripts I will stay with my lips Anyone trying to twist God's words up We live and die by these laws So ain't nobody stopping us because there's kings up in this building, look at what we build and we do this for our brothers and our wives and our children. If you ain't rolling with us, better get up out the way. Cause the God that we walking with is not the one to play. There's kings up in this building, look at what we build and we do this for our brothers and our wives and our children. If you ain't rolling with us, better get up out the way. Cause the God that we walking with is not the one to play. The elders said we would study for us to get the kingdom And then go teach our people because we got to bring them To the Lord cause they so lost They living in sin, they destroyed and they going off And then he told me, God is calling me So make this a priority If you see any wickedness, rebuke with all authority Cause our people are sick, give them this medicine Or God gon' put their lights out like our medicine I love my people, I don't wanna see them die But the way that they be living, man, it make you wanna cry Cause ain't nobody helping them, no one's doing a thing So God is gonna raise up some kings, that's why There's kings up in this building, look at what we build And we do this for our brothers and our wives and our children If you ain't rolling with us, better get up out the way Cause the God that we walking with is not the one to play There's kings up in this building, look at what we build And we do this for our brothers and our wives and our children If you ain't rolling with us, better get up out the way Cause the God that we walking with is not the one to play Play. Never let you mess this up, look at how we kept this up Even though you hate our guts, we the ones the people trust We moving up every year, y'all moving like y'all don't care You brothers ain't going nowhere, cause you don't serve the Lord with fear You saying you Israelites, but I don't understand it You teaching things that we know God has not commanded You robbing our people and you coming up like a bandit We ain't gonna stand it, it ain't the way we planned it Just repent, stop your sinning and you can make it better Brothers, imagine what we could do if we came together we the greatest, I'ma say this and I don't care Pump your fist up in the air and tell everybody here There's kings up in this building, look at what we build And we do this for our brothers and our wives and our children If you ain't rolling with us, better get up out the way Cause the God that we walking with is not the one to play There's kings up in this building, look at what we build And we do this for our brothers and our wives and our children If you ain't rolling with us, better get up out the way Cause the God that we walking with is not the one to play Play. There's kings up in this building, look at what we build And we do this for our brothers and our wives and our children If you ain't rolling with us, better get up out the way Cause the God that we walking with is not the one to play There's kings up in this building, look at what we build And we do this for our brothers and our wives and our children If you ain't rolling with us, better get up out the way Cause the God that we walking with is not the one to play back it's classic video kings in the building so we're gonna get on we're gonna get on to the next uh well still a little thousand but it's a leviathan but it's a uh, more details on what he can do mm -hmm. so let's go ahead uh verse 18 let's go back on that job 41 job chapter 41 verse 18 by his sneezings 
a light doth shine. Mm. A light mm. doth shine. So what is this getting into? Let's read on a little <clears throat> bit further and see what's going on. And his eyes are like the eyelids of the morning. Golly. Mm. He got some high beams. Keep going. HIDs. Mm-hmm. Out of his mouth go burning lamps. Mm. Go burning lamps. So this is getting to fire breathing. It's about to say that too. Keep going. And sparks of fire leap out. Mm. Sparks <laughs> of fire leap out. So this is going into what people would call a dragon. Yep. Godzilla. There you breathing go. fire. Out of his nostrils. Oh. Yeah, go ahead. Verse 20, out of his nostrils goeth smoke, mm. as out of a seething pot or cauldron. Mm. People didn't even know that was in the Bible, man. His breath kindleth coals. What? So what, what's going to kindle a coal? This is going into fire. fire. Yeah. His breath kindleth coals, and the flame goeth out of his mouth. A flame go out of his mouth. So we're going to get an example of this. We're going to go to this video, Dragon. All praises. We obviously didn't communicate clearly. We had to discuss your surrender, not mine. I imagine it's difficult adjusting to the new reality. Your reign is over. My reign has just begun. Ain't doing nothing with that. Twenty-one. Ain't doing nothing with that. Let's hit uh, verse twenty-one again. The book of Job, chapter forty-one, verse twenty-one. Start at uh, twenty. Matter of fact, verse twenty. Out of his nostrils goeth smoke, as out of a seething pot or cauldron. His breath kindleth coals, Mm. and a flame goeth out of his mouth. So that was an example of what the scriptures is talking about right there. And we're not saying that the Leviathan didn't look anything like that, but we're just showing an example of the fire coming out of mm-hmm. a beast's mouth. Yeah, that's what Hollywood, a lot of stuff that people don't understand is that they get a lot of these things from the Bible, like the concept of Star Wars right. and so forth and so on. Godzilla? On. Godzilla, yeah, but yeah, Leviathan is going into Godzilla. So, you know, a lot of people foolishly think these things aren't recorded in the scriptures. Verse 22. And his neck remaineth strength, and sorrow is turned into joy before him. Mm. That means when he putting you to death, that's a happy moment for him, because that's your sorrow, that's his joy. (laughs) It's just that simple. (laughs) The flakes of his flesh are joined together, 
They are firm in themselves. They cannot be moved. So he's saying that man can't move that. Those scales and his right. Those scales can't be penetrated. Did you see the arm on his chest? What you gonna do with something like that coming out the out the water, man, or even out the earth, man? There's nothing you can do with it but get out the way or get eight. Verse twenty four. His heart is as firm as a stone. Mm. Yea, as hard as a piece of the nether millstone. Mm. So that's telling you right there. That thing is tough. Hey, you ain't right. putting him down with no spear. Nah, that ain't gonna happen. He's just gonna break that joint. When he raiseth up himself, the mighty are afraid. By reason of breakings, they purify themselves. <laughs> so it's telling you that the the mighty are afraid. So this is your the hardest core dudes you got. They breaking down. The sword of him that layeth at him cannot hold. The spear, the dart, nor the habergun. So that's telling you all of your weapons going up against this beast is futile. He's just wasting Nothing. your time even trying to attack him. He esteemeth iron as straw. Wow. wow. So that's telling you it's a big beast. If he breaking down iron like it's straw. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you right there, this is not no. This ain't no regular fish, fish yeah, right? This ain't no goldfish or guppy. <laughs> <laughs> and brass as rotten wood. Cool, nice. brass as mm. rotten wood. Rotten wood that just mm, crumbles snap. up in your hand. Mm. Golly, the arrow cannot make him flee. Sling stones are turned with him into stubble. Into stubble. So that's already telling you he breathing fire. He's saying the sling stone is turned into stubble. Mm. What's going on that one? Darts are counted as stubble. <laughs> he laugheth at the shaking of a spear. <laughs> he laughing at your feet. Don't like two picks. <laughs> right. Yeah. He probably yeah, I take need that, that. Pick, pick his tooth after he eats. <laughs> <laughs> sharp stones are under him. He spreadeth sharp pointed things upon the the mire. Mm. He maketh the deep to boil like a pot. Damn. Damn he can mm. make deep water boil like a pot. Mm. He maketh the sea like a pot of ointment. Mm. He maketh a path to shine after him. One would think the deep to be hoary. Upon earth there is not his like who was made without fear. Mm. Damn. He beholdeth all high things. He is a king over all children of pride. Wow, I mean, he can he regulating everything on the planet, right? And, right, and he got a, he glowing underwater. Yeah. That's how hot his breath is. Mm. And you fools who think you're gonna take that down with a spear? And they be putting these kind of things in movies, like mm. like the brother said, um, that's Godzilla. Yeah, that's why a certain depths of the sea they can't get to with no pieces of machine. They, right. they just right. can't go they down, get there. down there. He probably back. eating them yeah, anyway. Ain't, ain't coming back up. Right. <laughs> All right, so we're going to run this uh, original royalties uh, commercial real quick. Picture gold dust in your hair. Jewelry everywhere. We don't even touch the ground, no. All the streets are paved with gold, you know. Your hands to the sky. All praise is this knowledge is coming out of the scriptures. All praise to the Most High. Um, now we, what we about to get into is proving that caveman exists in the Bible. Right. So we, all the things you see on the Geico commercials, we mm -hmm. about to prove it out of the scriptures. Right. We done went over the Leviathan, mm -hmm. the, the, behemoth. the behemoth. So we covered the land and the sea. So now we, because you know they they put that in their movies too. They got the caveman running around with the dinosaurs, and we gonna right. show you that scripture. So we covered the land, the sea. Now we about to get the caves. Right. Let's get Genesis twenty five and twenty five. The book of Genesis, chapter 25, verse 25. Mm -hmm. And the first came <clears throat> came out red. So we're going into the birth of Jacob and Esau, twin brothers. Read it again. Genesis 25 and 25. This is the birth of the first caveman. And the first came out red. Mm -hmm. All over like in hairy garments. So his, he had red pigmentation in his skin and he was hairy. Get Genesis 27 and 11 real quick. 
The book of Genesis, chapter 27, verse 11. Because Jacob was scheming with his moms to get the blessing from uh, his father, Isaac. Read. And Jacob said to Rebekah, his mm-hmm. mother, mm-hmm. Behold, Esau, my brother, is a hairy man. He's what? Is a hairy man. Because the scheme was Jacob had to go in and get the blessing first before Esau because Esau was the older brother. Jump mm-hmm. to verse 15. See, Let's see what Jacob, our forefather, had to do. And Rebekah took goodly raiment of her elder son Esau, mm-hmm. which were with her in the house. Read. And put them upon Jacob, her younger son. Mm. Mm-hmm. And she put the skins of the kids of goats. Of what? Of goats <laughs> upon his hands and upon the smooth of his neck. Let's go back to Genesis 25 and 25. So when we read these things, this is just to show you how hairy, really, the caveman really was. Right, the true Neanderthal. Right. You take a glad razor from him, he's going to look just like a ne- Neanderthal. Mm-hmm. Read that. The book of Genesis, chapter 25, verse 25. Mm-hmm. And the first came out red. All over like a hairy garment. So he was a hairy red man. Let's go to Genesis 32. The book of Genesis chapter 32. Start at verse 3. Let's see where he lived at. Verse 3. Mm-hmm. And Jacob sent messengers before him to Esau, his brother, unto the land of Seir. Read on. The country of Edom. So the land of Seir, which we're going to show a picture, uh, sh- uh, show a picture of later, uh, is where the, uh, the Edomites dwelled at. The original caveman. Jump to Genesis thirty-six. The book of Genesis, chapter thirty-six, verse eight. Verse eight. Thus dwelt Esau in Mount. In the Seir. Mount, meaning it's a mountain. Read. In Mount Seir. Mm-hmm. Esau is Edom. Can you pull up yeah, a photo? You, yeah, can you pull up that Mount picture? Seer? We got it right there. Real it quick. should be in the folder. Mount Seir. Just leave it on there while they go through these scriptures. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see what type of dwelling place he stayed in. So we about to show you all a picture of Mount Seir, where the original caveman dwelled at. Mm-hmm. Red hairy man. It should be in the folder on the show. And why he get? Why they? Why they get Mount that? Seer. Get Obadiah one. Yeah. Hold that. There it is. So all the viewers who are viewing this, these are this is Mount Seir. Okay, this is Mount Seir according to the scriptures where Esau reigned at. Keep the picture up, Obadiah one. The book of Obadiah. Chapter one, verse, verse one. Verse one. Yeah. The vision of Obadiah. Thus saith the Lord God concerning Edom. Concerning who? Edom. So we already clarified through the scripture that this is the original caveman. Read. We have heard a rumor from the Lord, Mm -hmm. and an ambassador is sent among the heathen. Arise ye, and let us rise up against her in battle. Read on. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. Thou art greatly despised. Because they only make up 7% of the earth's population. So they're a very small uh uh, nation amongst many read and they said they are greatly despised don't Meaning everybody hates them yeah I, i'm not going to leave that out meaning you see nobody that going likes on them. uh in the world today yeah. yeah you still see that today exactly read the pride of thine heart hath deceived thee so that these cavemen are <laughs> very prideful people okay read thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock thou that dwellest where in the clefts of the rock. All mm. those who are still viewing, we see the pictures of Mount Seir where the Edomites lived at, or the uh, uh, which is modern day the Caucasus Mountains, which we're gonna get later on. Read on. Whose habitation is high, meaning high up in the mountains and the rocks. Read that saith in his heart, mm-hmm. Who shall bring me down to the ground? That's hinting to that pride mentioned earlier in the scriptures. Who shall bring me down to the ground? Meaning these people must be in a position of power to be able to make a statement like that right. today. Okay. Is that verse 4? Read on. Though thou, though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, mm-hmm. and thou set thy nest among the stars. So the scriptures say, though thou exalt thyself as the eagle. So mm. today the caveman is exalting himself as the eagle. What nation does that today? That's just simple. That's yeah. a very that's a very simple that's answer. Flip over your read dollar. On. There you go. <laughs> Keep going though. It's gonna make it hey, crystal clear on. after that. Thence will the Lord bring thee down. Nah, read that. Nah, read, read from read, the top again. Though, thou set, though, though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, mm-hmm. and thou set and though thou set thy nest among the stars. Who set they nest 
a dwelling place among the stars in 1969, was right. That was what nation of people did this? What did they say when they landed on the moon? Exactly. When exactly. The eagle, the eagle has landed. We already know the answer to these things. Right. They got right. an international space station up there. Ain't no Negroes up there launching no rocket there ships. There you right go. There. <laughs> For the viewers, there's a picture. It's just that simple. That mean, we ain't making this up. So the the, the 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 caveman has transformed himself with a big uh, uh, razor blade. There you go. He right. cleaned himself up. <laughs> now he's here in America. There you go. That's what the scriptures are saying. People get mad at us. We read and clear out the scriptures. Now let's read uh, what the term Caucasian means. What's the definition of it? Because they call it, they title themselves that, but nobody knows what the definition is. So we don't read the, it for the people. Get the picture of the Caucasus Mountains too. Why yeah, pull that up. Yeah, why why we pull that up? A lot of people think no, we the are Caucasus Mountains. The Caucasus Mountains. Mountain. Mountain. That's Mount Seir. Let's get the Caucasus Mountains. Now that, that was that, that the was the Caucasus Mountains. Yeah, he, he was supposed to. Well, put Mount Seir because he didn't put Mount Seir. Right. Yeah, because those were the Caucasus Mountains. Yeah, that was a caucus mountain. That's yeah, Mount Seir. That's Mount Seir. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's Mount Seir. Yeah, Excuse me for the the uh, the viewers who've been viewing. That's Mount Seir originally where Edom dwelt. Now go at. to them caucus mountains. Now they, go to the caucus mountains. Right there in Georgia, Russia. Yeah. It still ain't no difference. Still Mount, yeah, that's Mount Seir right there. That's Caucasian race. Mm -hmm. Peoples of the caucus mountains. People of the where? Of the caucus Mountains. What's the source on that? So they don't think me out here reading some uh, Black Lives Matter edition uh, <laughs> dictionary, right? Because you know right you get people that got Wikipedia. Wikipedia. The source is Wikipedia. People get stupid like we up on here making up stuff and we on the show hating. Now read Un that one more time. Under Caucasian race. Read it one more time. Caucasian race from Wikipedia. Peoples of the Caucasus Mountains. They tell you where they where their origins come from. That's why they got their name on it. That's that's crystal clear. We reading that out the scriptures. Read the quotation. It, it also says European race. Hold on, what? European race. Edomites. That's what that's telling you. There you go. It's it's very simple. These things are very simple. We just don't want to believe what the Bible says. Yeah, not that's only what that. It down you to. know what they said? If you want to hide something from a Negro, all you got to do is put it in a book. Mm -hmm. Imagine if you if they had banks. Filled up with books You would never had to worry About a negro <laughs> going there Taking nothing They only want no direct deposit If that was the case They don't want none of that But you notice in The picture of Mount Seir It looked just like The monuments and, and capital That we have down Right there The Detroit. same architecture yeah. Yeah, they, The same they, exact they, they thing same They tell you who they are Everywhere they go Everywhere they set up shop at It they shows got the They got the same exact images the, Look right. at those It's the columns and everything It's all the same thing yeah, we're not making we're up not nothing. making none of these things up. This is no conspiracy theory, none of that garbage. But this is you, biblical facts. If they want a lot more details, what they can do is go to our YouTube page, mm -hmm. IUIC DC, and uh, check out who is Esau part one. Um, and before two. Before you get that, get Genesis 25, 27 real quick. So we can get some more characteristics just in case somebody might still be <laughs> clueless about the who mm -hmm. we talking about. Yeah, they, they came in late. The book yeah. of Genesis, chapter 25, verse 27. Mm -hmm. And the boys grew. And Esau was a cunning hunter. Esau was a what? A cunning hunter. Meaning a great hunter. A man of the field. And an outdoors when They got a channel called the Sportsman Channel, the Outdoors Channel. So the, the oh, caveman uh, was a very good hunter, is what the scripture is saying. Exactly. When okay. fall come around, you see deer antlers on trucks and everything. We're not mm -hmm. making none of this stuff up. That's that, The scriptures is, is crystal clear. Now get that Malachi. Yeah, let's Malachi. get this. Malachi one. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. Then we're gonna get an example of the caveman. Yeah, how they used we gotta to see how he used to live for and real. And then we're gonna go to history books written by another caveman to verify his origins. <laughs> yeah, you know, just it. in case somebody think we still up here hating. The book of Malachi, chapter one, verse one. Mm -hmm. The burden of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi. Read. I have loved you, saith the Lord. Yet you say, Wherein hast thou loved us? Read. Was not Esau Jacob's brother? Mm -hmm. So were we not related to the caveman? Read. Saith the Lord, yet I loved Jacob. Yet the Most High decided to love us. Read. And I hated Esau. And he hated the caveman. Read on. And laid his mountains. His what? His what? And yeah. laid his mountains. Mm -hmm. Is the reason why I say mountains. Read. <clears throat> and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Now let's see what, let's see what the caveman said. Whereas Edom saith. Mm -hmm. Let's, we go, let's jump to that book. Now, I'm about to, I'm about yeah, to he got it first. I got okay. it. Read. Whereas Edom saith, uh -huh. we are impoverished. So the caveman said, we are impoverished. Let's see what type of poverty they got. They went into. Get that book. Let's get yeah. their history. So read that from read the, the Read the author, too, so they make sure none of us wrote it up here. This is the book, The 13th Tribe, by Arthur Kessler. Mm -hmm. So they threw him out of a window, too, by yeah, the way. After, he pub after this book <laughs> went out, they threw him out of a window and killed him. Page 39. Mm -hmm. 
Accustomed to the splendid baths of Baghdad, our traveler could not get over the dirtiness <laughs> of the Turks. Of the who? The dirtiness of the Turks. So the brief history of that, the uh, um, I forget which one they I sent mean, it. Uh, an uh, emissary up there to. It was a Muslim. It was a Muslim yeah. that sent the uh, ambassador up through the Caucasus Mountains to to spread Islam. So we're going into this is during the Byzantine Empire yeah, or what yeah. they called the Dark Ages, right. yeah. where we just read they were impoverished. Yeah, That's just the backdrop for that. He was trying to persuade them to go into uh, into Islam. That right. was his right. mission. And let's see what he witnessed. The goose do not wash themselves after defecating <laughs> or urinating. Mm-hmm. So the cavemen don't wash themselves after they use the bathroom. They just use the bathroom, defecate all over themselves. Read. Nor do they bathe after seminal pollution. Nor do they bathe. That's why when they came to this side of the world, when our Northern Kingdom brothers was over here, they had to teach them how to bathe. They sure did. They came here with diseases and all sorts right. of things. Smallpox and all that. Read. Or on other occasions. Mm-hmm. They refuse. They did what? They refuse Read. to have anything to do with water, <laughs> particularly in the winter. When the goose commander in chief took off his luxurious coat of brocade to don a new coat mm-hmm. the mission had brought him, they saw that his underclothes were fraying apart from dirt. <laughs> their drawers and things of that nature was deteriorating from dirt. Yeah, you they know? never changed their undergarments. Never changed them. Read. For it is the for it is their custom n- never to take off the garment they wear close to their bodies until it disintegrates. Oh, read, read, read that again read so that make sure please. we up here. For it is their custom mm-hmm. never to take off the garment they wear close to their bodies. Until it disintegrates. Do y'all see the customs these people used to keep? Now we praise these people. We put these people on a pedestal today. Looking at their Keep origins. On. Read on. Another Turkish tribe, the Bashkurs, shave their beards and eat their lice. <laughs> they think that's a joke, too. We're going to play that video pretty soon. Right. Oh, play man. See what they say, though. Let's see what they, they say after they, eat, after they eat their own lice. They search the folds of their undergarments. Mm-hmm. And crack the lice with their teeth. And what they say? <laughs> when an Ibn Fadlan watched a Bashkir do this, the latter remarked to him, they delicious. <laughs> <laughs> As Jugger said, the lice was delicious. Get that video, uh, Mike, because oh, it's going to be man. on the video. They're going to show you right here on Quest for Fire. Start at 315. Just that simple. Yeah, that's 
Read that again. Yeah, that joint was crazy, man. Read that. And again. they had that red potter on there too. Yeah, exactly. All the characteristics we read in the, of in the, the scriptures, scriptures. and read. and documenting history too. Read uh, another Turkish tribe, the Bashkurs, shave their beards and eat their lice. And do what? Eat their lice. Did we, we see that? We just that seen video? that. We just saw that. They we put that in the video. That. They search the folds of their undergarments and crack the lice with their teeth. And we've seen them searching through the undergarments in their hair and picking out the mm-hmm. lice, man. We're not making nothing up yeah. up here, man. The we caveman is recorded in the scriptures. Right. Now, get that back in Malachi so we can finish it out. The book of Malachi, chapter 1, verse 4. Mm-hmm. Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, mm-hmm. but we will return and build the desolate places. And they did that. We live in here today. Read. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, mm-hmm. they shall build, but I will throw down. But all praise that is a God, because he's going to throw this mess down. Read. Mm-hmm. And they shall call them the border of wickedness. Get that in Job 30 real quick. They the border of all wickedness. So they the measuring stick of all wickedness. Right. Let's get that in Job 30. Let me start at one. No. We, we, yeah. Yeah. Start at one. That's yeah. fine. The book of Job chapter 30, verse one. Yeah. But now they that are younger than I have me in derision. Read. Whose fathers I would have disdained to have set with the dogs of my flock. Mm-hmm. Yea, where to might the strength of their hands profit me, in whom old age was perished. Three. For want and famine, they were solitary. So once and famine, when they was in famine, they was in solitary, meaning they was by themselves. Three. Flee. Like they, we was ruling it during that right. time period. During the Byzantine, during the Byzantine Empire. Empire. The Dark Ages, because they wasn't in rulership. Three. Fleeing into the wilderness. Fleeing into the wilderness, because we chased them to the mountains, with the scriptures going to read. In former time, desolate and waste. They was desolate and waste, as we just witnessed, and as they recorded in their own books. Read. Who cut up mallows by the bushes <laughs> and juniper roots for their meat. We seen that in the video. They mm-hmm. eating raw meat. They eating anything they can find. They lice out their beards. Read. They were driven forth. They were driven forth from among men. And you can see why. Why would you want to live amongst that? Read on. They cried after them as after a thief. Read on. To dwell in the cliffs. To dwell in where? In the cliffs. We read that in Obadiah. We read that in Genesis. That's mm-hmm. where they dwell at. Read on. Of the valleys. In caves of the earth and in the rocks. And what? in the rocks. The clefts of the rock, as right. Obadiah said. The scriptures are redundant. They say the same thing over and over again. Among the bushes they braid. Mm-hmm. Under the nettles, they were gathered together. Which we seen right outside their cave. So right. the scriptures, I mean, all facts. I mean, it's, it's amazing. And it's documented in history. So that's what we're coming out here to show you that you dinosaurs in the Bible and also that the caveman is recorded in the Bible. Because they like to put that out there, the Neanderthal, man, we all started from there. No, that's not our forefather. We evolved from monkeys yeah. or whatever. They all that foolish nonsense. They evolved garbage. from the caves. <laughs> yeah. That's just, that's crystal clear. We finish it? Did I finish that in Malachi? Nah, we didn't finish it. We didn't get the end of it. Nah, no, Malachi. Malachi. Me? I thought the verse I thought four I again. Think, yeah. We didn't get the last. It. I don't think we had the last precept. I don't remember. Just oh, read it again. Four. We do it for. You know, Mendel just like to hear it over. Oh, I yeah. do. <laughs> Go back to it? Yeah. yeah Malachi one and four. Yeah, let's run through it real quick. Right. Malachi chapter one verse four. Mm-hmm. Whereas Edom saith, "We are impoverished." But we will return and build the desolate places. So we've seen how impoverished they became. Read on. Thus saith the Lord of hosts. Mm-hmm. They shall build, mm-hmm. but I will throw down. And they shall call them the border of wickedness. So they're the border of all wickedness. And the people against whom the Lord hath indignation forever. There you go. I know Mandel wanted to hear that part. God hates them forever. He hates them forever. So you can't say God loves everybody when the scripture says he hates this particular group of people forever. Forever. And God doesn't change according to Matthew And three also, six. it goes back to they are there were cavemen. Yeah, right. they were. Right. So and you see dinosaurs. how dirty and dingy they were. Right. And fire-breathing uh, beast. In the, and the scriptures. So the Bible is a true book. Is what exactly. So that shuts down that foolish doctrine because the Bible don't say dinosaur. And again, that term didn't come around until like 1853. Exactly. And the book was already written. All right. So we're going to close out with a video from Solomon. 
Let's get it, man. And with that, we say shalom. What's on Christ bless? Yeah. I'm looking I'm looking for it now. Yeah. Yeah, they're chasing me, bro. Yeah. I'll let you know when I find it. Alright. Let's get it. See to the king. I swing out of joy. Please don't misinterpret my aggression. For hate to tell my people, we got some work to do. My people, they need some direction. These rappers is lying, our leaders is weak, man. It ain't no question. Who got the answers though? We the Israelites, we got the answers though. Daily in our scripts, but we not no actors though. We really got the verses, ain't your pastor though? We really the prophets Boy, you cannot stop Just keep the commandments on that It's no option Chosen by God I'm not trying to die yeah, Tell me your nationality I tell you mine, yeah Heart of a lion, yeah Made up my mind, yeah I really made up my mind, yeah I got no doubts in my mind yeah, I said it before You better get yourself together Being a dummy just ain't cool Giving solutions The Bible's an answer Christ said we his sheep You know we amongst those Your pastor, he act like he prophesied he really be out here proper life. He only know scripture at time and time. Touching the boss, he inside of mine. Christmas a lot, Easter a lot. They say that New Year's in the dead of the winter. The Bible say different. Do we trust the men or in God? I mean, who do we really believe in? I don't know about you, but I had to give my life to the Lord. They out here teaching lies, and people don't know where to turn or where to go. We on the corners out teaching, it's something that you need to know We been restoring the people fighting every day to save us up Yeah, Lion of Judah Lion of Judah I got some good news, yeah, I got some good news And I'm trying to give it to you All of the years that we struggle Man, look at our struggle Don't you want to know about your history? Don't you know that God loves you? This should probably be our anthem you should probably throw your hands up We the ones really gon' stand up How come my folks so rebellious? Forget it Keep the commandments, I'm with it Household in order, we teach to our children Know we fear God by the way that we live And the Lord is our savior, it's real, we his children Tell me I'm lying, no you cannot Chosen by God, call us back to remembrance Mighty and tall, divided we fall It's real, yes, we gotta watch out for our families Brotherly love Sisterly love, Christ said that this thing was the greatest commandment Shalom to my sisters and finally my brethren Be strong in the law and the power of the blood How they gon' tell us, man? How they gon' tell us we ain't doing right? You know what I'm We out here every day We out here keeping the commandments We keep the Sabbath holy We don't eat no pork You know what I'm saying? How you gon' roll up on me and try to check me out? You know what I'm saying? Like I do it difference between us and them is the fact that we actually apply the things that we know. You know what I'm saying? Y'all do right. You know what I'm saying? Y'all do right. I see. I see what you're saying, bro. We try to please the most high. These brothers out here, man, trying to get me upset and all that, man. Nah, man. I don't appreciate that, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, I got you. All praise to the most high. Right, right, right. Hey, man, y'all remember keep the Sabbath holy. No buying, no selling. No cooking. No cooking. Y'all where y'all friends and you turn ribbon. Shalom, this is I'm Elton Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, 
please make sure you subscribe to this and join our UIC chat to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.